Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can interface a PIC 16 fpic 7 a microcontroller with a 16 cross 2 LM016 LCD and write a program which will run a counter on the LCD from 0 to 1000. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC 16 fpic 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins and 30 IP version. And this is a 16 cross 2 LCD I'm talking about. And this is a potentiometer that will be needed to adjust the contrast of this LCD. So guys, let me show you how to do the wiring. As you can see that this potentiometer has three pins, pin number as mentioned on its body as well, one, two, and three like this. Then guys, this LCD has 16 pins, one to 16 from left to right if you hold it like this. And now the next thing is, we I show you how to do the programming, or oh, sorry, wiring of this LCD. Pin number one and five of the LCD, you short them, then you send it to the pin number one of your potentiometer, then you send it to the common ground. In this way, your potentiometer gets a ground and your LCD gets a ground. Next thing, guys, is the pin number 3 of your LCD. It is a contrast adjustment pin. You will send it to the adjustable pin of your potentiometer. That is a center pin of this potentiometer or pin number 2. And then, guys, pin number 2 of your LCD is the VDD pin. You will send it to the VCC pin of the PIC along with the pin number 3 of your potentiometer. In this way, your potentiometer will get the 5 volt and your LCD also gets a 5 volt. Now next thing is the pin number 4 of the LCD is the RS pin. You can connect it to any available digital input output pin of your PIC. I am going to use the pin number C0 that is pin number 15 of the PIC. Next is the pin number 6 of the LCD that is the enable pin. I am going to use the pin number 16 of the PIC that is pin number C1 for this. And then we have pin number 11 of the LCD that is the data pin 4. I am going to use a pin number C2 of the PIC for this. Then I have pin number 12 of the LCD that is data pin 5 for that I am going to use a pin number 21 that is pin number D2 of the PIC. Then we have pin number 13 of the LCD and I will connect it to the pin number D3 of the PIC. Then pin number 14 of the LCD will likewise that is a pin data pin 7 pin I will send it to the pin number C4 of PIC 16 f 7 a microcontroller. In this way my connection pins are completed. Now there are pin number 15 and 16 on the LCD. You will only connect this LCD if your LCD supports a backlight. If your LCD do not have a backlight, you will not connect these two pins at all. So my LCD do have a backlight. So I will connect pin number 15 to the VCC pin. That is a 5 volt pin of the PIC and pin number 16 to the common ground of the PIC like this. Then guys, these four pins in the center, 7, 8, 9 and 10, you will, uh, you can uh, leave them floating because these pins are used when you use the LCD in the 8 bit mode while we are using this LCD in the 4-bit mode. So we do not need them, just leave them as it is. Now guys, let me, uh, let me introduce you to the hardware we, before we get to the programming. So guys, this is the hardware we have here. This is the LCD, 16 cross 2 LCD, as you can see. It has 16 pins, you can see that 1 to 16, as shown in the presentation as well. Then guys, there is our PIC16 f 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins, that's a DIP version. So, let's get to the micro C4 PIC so we can start programming. Let me zoom it in for you so you can see better. So, I am using version 7.2.0 of the micro C. You can use the higher version as well depending upon the availability. So, go to file, new, new project. This window will pop up, new project wizard, click on next, write the name of the project, counter, LM016, learning, LM016, learning microcontrollers, tutorial. So this is the name of the project I just wrote, select like the device, pick 16 f 7 is the one I am using, write the name, uh, write the uh, speed of crystal you are using. I am using a 20 MHz crystal. I click on next and finish. Now this will lead you to this window. Before doing anything else, press Ctrl S to save your progress like this. Then guys, uh, first of all, go to the right in the libraries. Select the libraries you are going to use. We will need the LCD library. Now expand it. Double click on LCD i This will lead you to this window. And in the example here, you have these commands, you copy them till here. Now you go back and you place it above the void main like this. Now here you can see that for the pinout settings, he is saying that 
R S is B4, while we have C0. For E and we are using C1. For D7, we are using C4 as shown in the presentation. For D6, we are using D3. For D5, we are using D2. For D4, we are using C2. So guys, these are the pin configuration we are using in our project. For RS, it's C0. For EN, it's C1. For D7, it's C4. For D6, it's D3. For D5, it's D2. For D4, it's C2. Now here for the pin direction, do exactly the same. For RS, we have C0. For EN, we have C1. For D7, we have C4. For D6, we have D3. For D5, we have D2. And for D4, we have C2. So guys, in this way, our pins are configured. Now, if you are using a different pin for RS, just you will change this parameter here. That's all. Rest will remain the same. <laughs> now, guys, go to the right again in the LCD i IT. Now, below this, you have this LCD i IT command. You copy it. Only this command. And then you place it in the void main like this. This will initialize the LCD. All of these pins are initialized. Now, you don't have to do that trace. Uh, b dot f0 equal to 0 or c dot f0 equal to 0. This is done by these commands already. You can see that it says trace c0 bit. So you don't have to do it manually now. Now LCD i IT, you give some delay here. Write down delay ms100, some initialization delay, that's all. So by default, the LCD comes with a cursor. But in my project, I don't want the cursor. To remove the cursor, you go to the right, this LCD CMD, double click on it. You copy this command, LCD CMD clear in the example, you paste it here and then you remove whatever is inside the bracket and then you go back to the LCD CMD command and here you have this table, available LCD command, this table. And inside this table, look for this command, turn off cursor and you copy this green uh, LCD command and then you go back and place it inside the bracket like this. Now this command will remove the cursor, give some initialization delay for the one time loop command like this. And now guys, uh, we will, uh, since whenever we turn on our programming, there might be some rag back values on the LCD. So we will clear the LCD before going in the forever loop. For that, you copy this LCD CMD command, LCD clear, that's all. This command will clear the screen. Now go to the forever loop, write down while one, now, first of all, we will need an integer which will be act as a counter. So, we declare an integer above the void main, write down counter like this. Now, by default, the counter value must be 0. So, you bring it in the one time loop and make it 0. Counter equals to 0. Initially, it is 0. Now, guys, counter equals to counter plus 1. It will increase by 1. Now, we use a do while loop here, do that, first of all, it will run. In the, whenever the code is on, it will run for the first time. Do while loop, loop do this, then loop ends here, write down while. For how long it will run? Until counter is less than equal to 1000. As soon as the counter will reach 1000 value, it will stop. And here, what it should do, it should make the counter equal to 0 again before repeating the code like this. Now, this will be our code here. Now, but before inside it, we will need to give it the speed. If you want the counter to run too fast, just leave it like this. It will go like a bullet. Now, I make it go slower. Delay MS. Make, give it the delay, the speed you want. I give it 200. Now, it will take 200 milliseconds before updating the next value like this. Now, let's build this code and burn it and see what happens. Okay, it's built without any errors. I build it again. Okay, now we go to the Picket 3 programming tools. Click on file, import hex file. This is the code. Click on write. Okay, the new code is being written. Let's get to the hardware. Let me zoom out. Okay, let it write the new code. Okay, the new code is written, but you will see no value on the screen. But why? Let's get back to the micro C4 programming. Now you can see that 
we are running the counter but we are not displaying the value on the screen so for that go to the lcd library here you have this lcd out command now to use this command see that it only supports strings you see text to be written text means it's a string it only supports strings see string variables and letters can be passed as a text so for that purpose we will need to convert this value that is a counter value to a string value to display it on the screen now for that purpose you declare another variable a string counter 1 like this and maximum digits it can have is 5 that's fine for our project like 0 to 5 it's 6 digit so char so we are using a char an array of char is a string so this is an array of char having maximum 6 letters so it's a word of 6 now we need a command to convert this for that go to the libraries again here you have this conversion library you check mark it expand it and look for i entry to string this command here you copy it till here now you place it wherever you want the conversion to be done i want the conversion done whenever the counter is updated now this place place here the command which is to be converted the integer and there will come the string so this is the string you place it here whatever is in this this will be converted to this and now give some initialization delay that's good enough already given so what we do now is to display this value on the screen now go to the right in the lcd out library uh, lcd library you have this lcd out command double click on it and now you copy this command from here lcd out command and you place it right uh, wherever you want the values to be displayed like this now you simply remove this now this is the row start writing from the first row this is the column from the first column what it should write whatever is in this string so counter is updated and stored in this string a variable and then this variable is converted into this string then this string will be displayed on the string screen and then it will wait for like 200 milliseconds so we give some initialization delays as well two will do fine for each like this now we build this code now we are also displaying the value on the screen and we change the code okay click on this micro c programming tool here okay the code is already selected just click on write okay the new code is being written let me zoom out and go to the hardware now as you can see the new code is being written let's see what happens this time okay i click on on see it is running the code you can see the digits changing and moving sorry there is a lag in my camera it's a wi-fi camera basically i'm using the code is working fine you can see that it is incrementing the values at a very fast speed and this speed is uh, so fast that is because we are using just 200 millisecond of delay you can see that it is going up once it, it will reach 1000 it will go back again so we increase the speed so it goes early and you can also just decrease this to make it like 100 if you want to decrease so let it go up let's see what happens you can see that it is incrementing let it reach 1000 then it will go over again to simply change this uh, speed you can uh, change this delay here you can make it go lower to make the code go faster so i make it like uh, 50 it will increase us decrease the speed but it will be hard to see whatever is displayed on the screen okay we change this code to increase the speed go to the hardware and click on write to build again our code is working exactly as needed but only the thing is the speed so you can play with the code you can change the speed or you can also change this counter parameter here this one so if you change this this will change the value like uh, it will go from uh, 0 to 100 only if you want to go like this 
okay the new code must have been burned let's go back to the hardware see now it's going faster sorry there is a lag in the camera so now it is going very fast we can see that it's changing values let it reach 1000 and see what happens After it reached 1000, then we have used a command that counter will again go to 0. It means it will start all over again. So you can see that it is going. See, it started all over again. Because we are using this condition here, this condition that as soon as it is less than equal to only allow the counter to work if it is less than equal to 1000 we are using a do while loop here this one you can also use a for loop and other techniques as well so guys i hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day